Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As I'm sure you know by now because you clicked on this video, today's upload is a bake with me. And today I will be baking a lemon and mango pavlova. If you're new here and this is the first time that you're seeing me, my name is Cara and I try to make videos every second week, so I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy. That being said, let's get baking. Now for this pavlova, I haven't exactly committed to a recipe. I'm doing the Mary Berry Strawberry Pavlova and then making like a lemon curd and some sort of like mango thing for the middle, but we'll just see how it goes as I bake. And the first thing that I obviously have to do is separate the egg whites from the egg yolks. I know, you probably already noticed that there's only five in this, it's annoying you too, but we'll get over that. Right, well that didn't exactly go to plan, but I got my four egg yolks. And I got my four, oh, I need to put this in there. I got my four egg whites without any yolks in them, but my God, the first and the third one I got everywhere. So I'll just tidy this up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. None of the eggs are wasted, but I'm gonna put these aside for the lemon curd because obviously we only need the egg whites for the meringue and I forgot to preheat the oven. So I'll do that now. Well, this has been a bit of a chaotic video so far. I promise I have baked before. I don't know what's happening today, just everything is not working out, but it is time to whip the egg yolks until they have stiff peaks. Okay, I think we've gotten stiff peaks now. Yep, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to get the sugar ready. And the annoying thing about putting the sugar in is you have to do it one teaspoon or tablespoon at a time. Yeah, I'm going to say Did I get the right sugar? Yeah, no, I did. It looks like granulated sugar. I have to tiny bit too much, but I don't know what matters. Okay, now I'm going to add the sugar in to the beaten eggs one soup spoon, I think this is called. Well, it's supposed to be a tablespoon. One tablespoon at a time. But um, I had just added the white wine vinegar and I was halfway through adding the point flour when I realized that I wasn't filming. So yeah, but it's two teaspoons of white wine vinegar and two teaspoons of corn flour. And then we mix that again until we get stiff peaks. Okay, I think that I have gotten stiff peaks. It looks like there's a stiff peak anyway. Let's see if it defies gravity, it does. I'm sure you know the real test is holding it above your head. I never, never, ever do this because I don't trust this. But I'm gonna do it for you guys. Okay. I don't trust this for a second. I'm not. Okay, it worked. We have stiff peaks. All right, I have put parchment paper and I've greased the dish that I'm gonna be using for the pavlova. It's literally just a circular dish and has little frills at the top. I put some of the meringue mixture into a piping bag with some sort of tip. It's like a star. I'm not with that fancy you now. I don't know my tips, but I have some left over here. And the game plan is to obviously make the sides bigger than the middle and then make it look cool with the piping. But then again, like I am with that fancy you now, so we'll just see how it goes. This is what the pavlova looks like. Before it goes in, just put a little rim around the middle and we will see her in an hour. Okay, now that the pavlova is in the oven and cooking, I need to make obviously the fillings that make it the mango and lemon meringue pavlova. Yeah, so I'm going to be making a lemon curd and then some sort of like mango puree. So while the meringue is cooking in the oven, I'm going to get started on the lemon curd. I will have all the links to everything including the lemon curd and the pavlova recipe linked in the description box down below, just in case you want to make this recipe as well. And for the lemon curd recipe, we need to do the double boiler method, which is where you have the pot of water and you put a glass bowl over it. So we need to put all the ingredients in the 
glass bowl and then I have a pan over there full of water just boiling. So I'm just going to put in all the ingredients and let it cook. The lemon curd is just cooking over here. Right now there is sugar, egg yolks, lemon zest and lemon juice and a little bit of salt in here and I just have to beat it consistently until it thickens. While the lemon curd is cooking over there, I'm going to prepare the mango. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it, but I think I'm going to cube half of it and then maybe mash the other half and just see how it goes. This is what the lemon curd looks like now that it's, it's not done because it has to cool and it thickens more when it cools. And then I'm going to try and attempt to put this in here. So we'll see how that goes. It actually works. It looks a little bit like orange juice, but yeah, it actually worked. So I'm gonna let that cool at room temperature until it's fully cool, and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Okay, this is the pavlova all done. The pavlova basically cooled in the oven, but I've just taken it out for the last couple of minutes. And while that continues to cool, yeah, it needs a little bit more cooling before I add the filling. I'm gonna do the last thing, which is the cream. Okay, so I have the pavlova cooled. I have whipped the cream with a little bit of sugar. And then I also got some raspberries out because it is dipped around the edges. So I'm not trying to fill that in. And I also have the lemon curd. I'm gonna put the cream in the middle and then around the edges because I'm sure you can see that it's like dipped a little bit in those places first. And then I'll add the lemon curd and the fresh fruit. pavlova looks like finished i'm a little bit annoyed about the cracks on the side but overall i think it looks really really nice and if you want this recipe i will leave the pavlova recipe alongside the lemon curd in the description box and feel free to make this yourself and thank you so much for watching this video especially if you've made it all the way to the end i'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe down below and click the bell notification symbol right beside it so you get notified and never miss another one of my videos if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Bake With Me's, please leave a thumbs up so that I know and comment any other video ideas that you have down below. That being said, I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Bye!